Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors, and I want to talk to you today about distributors, coils, switching from positive to ne negative earth, and how to hook this stuff up. One of the most common problems is someone calls me and says, oh, my car doesn't run. I said, well, when did it run best last? And the guy says, well, before I put the new set of points in. So we're going to show you that today, too. I'm dealing with an MGAs and MGBs. 1954, really I guess the magnets through 1974, 12 volt systems, the DM2 distributors and the 25D distributors used in the MGAs and MGBs. Let's take a look at the schematic here and see how, how, this, uh, how this baby works. We've got our battery here, that's easy, you can see that, here's the battery with our, with our post marked plus and minus, and here's our ignition switch here, here's the ignition switch, when you close the ignition switch, then the, uh, then the coil goes hot if the points are closed. And when the points are closed, we've got current running through the system. When the points open, the field, the mag magnetic field of the coil collapses, and we get our, our uh, high, high, high voltage spark out of the output of the coil. The condenser is here to keep the points from arcing. Condensers hardly ever go bad. Coils are marked up like this. They're either marked plus or minus, or if you still have an early coil, it's marked CB or SW. CB stands for contact breakers, which on a positive earth system is the positive side of the coil. And um, it's marked SW for switch, which is the negative side um, of the system, again, on a positive earth car. So the CB and SW are, are designated for positive earth cars, but all of our cars went to negative earth in 1968. Let's go outside and take a, or back in the shop on my bench here, and take a look at the distributor and see how to uh, assemble up the points. Okay, here we got our distributor. We can remove our rotor. Make sure that the that the uh, cam moves up and down. That lets us know that there's free play. It's not frozen. It's not uncommon at all to have this thing frozen. We can take off. We're going to take off our old uh, set of points here and simply put them back on. But here's a nut on the top that I've just dropped and here is a little piece of plastic here on top and this is essential you see how these two connectors are underneath the piece of plastic underneath the piece of plastic and common with the spring band of the points that's that's the error that that people make in putting this back together and, and they put those those connectors on the uh, on the top side of the plastic and then it's grounded right to this post, it grounds right to earth. You know, this is an old set of points, oh my gosh. So, we got the points off, we can take the condenser off, you know, and then we can go ahead and change the points and condenser if you wish. This is the LT lead, which stands for low tension lead. There's also a ground lead here that grounds the, uh, the contact breaker plate, the CB plate to earth so you've got a, a good connection here. So let's assume that these are brand new points and we're going to put them back in. Oh boy, n n nobody's going to have a set of points like this at home. These are uh, real, ancient, uh, real ancient points. Now, if you don't, it, you must have underneath this cheese head 2BA screw and a 1032 will work just fine. Uh, you have a, a number 10 lock washer and I use a number eight flat washer. You have to have a flat washer here. So let me get this guy into place here. So underneath here we have a piece of plastic which holds the points. And let me get the, uh, the condenser back in place here. Let's pretend that this is a brand new condenser. You know quite frankly, as I think I said that before, the condensers just don't go bad. So, oh, once in a blue moon they they do, and when they do, the car just does not run. It snaps and farts and backfires, rifle shots down the down the tailpipe. Now, if you want to look really professional, wrap the uh, LT lead around the around the condenser lead a couple of times. Go ahead and get him on here. And we're going to take our, our plastic our plastic piece and put that on top of here. And see if we can get that whole thing pressed through here. Of course, it's a demonstration, so nothing's going to work, is it? 
there's our point band, and we go ahead and put the nut on the top. Now there are some points, maybe Napa points or something that that have a uh, um, a plastic stud that comes up the middle. So here's here's the points. We're all set up. Now we have to adjust the points. Here's a 15 thousandths feeler. For you Canadian guys, I can't translate that into uh, metric off the top of my head. And we're going to spin the cam here and see what happens. You can see the points are, are opening far far wider than the... Uh, um, where's my adjuster here? And the, po and the points are still blipping here just a little too much. I want to I want to have this so I can spin it and just barely have the the top of the cam just barely have the cam touch the points. We'll tighten this guy up just a little bit. There there we go. I can just feel it. I can just feel the cam, the top of the cam brush the points as it go, goes by. I can just barely feel it. Okay? So this is where we got our 15 thousandths clearance and that equals a 60 degree dwell. Now I will put a little bit of grease. I love this red grease but you got to put a little bit of grease on this cam to keep it from wearing out. There we go. So we're all set to put the distributor back, back in place. Now this distributor was removed with the, with the base plate, with a clamping plate like this. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. Don't take this off the engine. Um, just simply loosen the bolt here and pull the distributor out. But before you put it back in, use a liberal amount of that red grease here on the shank so that it'll come out properly next time. Now we're going to take a, a quick break here and I'm going to show you how to hook up the coil. Here we have the setup here with the coil and this is set up as though it were a uh, negative earth car because this takes the place of our distributor. Our distributor is grounded to the negative side of the coil and the distributor which would be the white with black lead uh, normally in your car is hooked to the negative side of the coil and when we hook up the positive side, in other words we complete the circuit, then we get a nice handsome spark off our ignition coil. Okay, This stuff is lots of fun. Now let's say that the car is hooked up positive earth. Okay, And in, po in the positive earth system, then ground is positive. We hook our um, distributor to the positive side of the coil because that's the ground side of the coil. Um, the um, uh, the positive side of the coil is, is the is the ground side, and our hot side then becomes the negative, and we still get our nice handsome spark. You never ever hook both of these to the same side of the coil, or well, you remember that LT lead, that'll incinerate. Well, I hope I've showed you how to set up your points, get the points in correctly. Get your coil connected correctly, depending on what earth you have. Uh, we did make this uh, video especially for Ron, but I do thank all the guys from uh, MG Enthusiasts who have been writing in. I look at those comments. I don't have time to post on there. Good grief. I don't have time to do this hardly. So anyway, thanks very, very much, but let me remind you that we, we, do, uh, we do do this as a business, and anything you can send us, whether it's your distributor, or a transmission, or a wiper motor, or an engine, or a whole car. We're more than happy to help you out. Thanks a lot.